Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with pan roasted halibut, with clamshell mushrooms, with lemon butter sauce. That's right, three whiz, but don't let the long name fool you. This recipe is simple, delicious, nutritious, and if you ask me, pretty nice to look at. And like most of our seafood recipes, this is dedicated to people that claim they can't cook fish. Which is not true, since scientists have proven everyone is born with the ability to cook fish. But anyway, if you are one of these people that has fish fear, this is the recipe for you, and here's why. There's only a couple ingredients, so simply less to screw up. And what we have here is two nice pieces of halibut. That's skinless and boneless. Oh, by the way, there's my cat Nigella making a cameo. But anyway, we got a couple pieces of halibut, and then co-starring alongside, we have these clamshell mushrooms. So cute. These are the hobbits of mushrooms. And good news, you can find those at pretty much any big grocery store these days. And then we're also going to use a little parsley and lemon, but that's pretty much it. Super, super simple. So let's get started. And all that means is throw a chunk of butter along with some olive oil into a heavy-duty skillet, or in my case, cast iron frying pan. And we're going to melt that butter on medium-high heat until it foams up like that, at which point we will add our clamshell mushrooms along with a couple nice big pinches of salt. And we're basically going to saute those mushrooms for about five minutes until golden brown. And I think I left my heat on medium-high, but if it seems like it's too hot, turn yours down a little. Or if it's going too slow, turn it up. All right, you got what it takes to rock the knob right. So just that flame as you see fit. And I do want you to keep in mind that we are going to cook the fish in this pan and leave the mushrooms right in here. So they are going to cook a little more with the fish. So you don't want to go too far, but a nice golden brown would be perfect. Something that looks very, very similar to that would be recommended. And at that point, we're just going to clear a space in the middle of the pan where we'll cook our halibut. And of course, before the fish hits the pan, we're going to season that up with a little bit of cayenne and salt. And of course, I did both sides. I only filmed one side to cut costs, but definitely season both sides. And with our heat still on medium high, we're going to go ahead and put that in the pan, nice side down. Whatever side you want to present up, put that down first. That's always going to sear better. And you'll see that when we turn them. Because of moisture, that second side sometimes will stick a little bit to the pan, which is actually going to be an advantage, but we're going to go over that in a minute. But anyway, we're going to cook that fish on medium high heat for approximately three or four minutes per side. It really depends on thickness, so don't go by time. And you know we like to peek at the side to see how far that heat's coming up from the bottom. See right there, you can see the sides looking like they're getting cooked. So right about here, I decided to flip mine. Of course, I flipped the thinner one first. That just makes sense. And just like salmon and other things we've cooked, you're going to get that little seam that kind of splits on the top. And that's a great spot to peek in to test the flakiness. And generally with fish, when it flakes, it's done. So that is a nice way to check without destroying your fish. But anyway, I'm going to flip over the thicker piece. And if there's any kids in the room, please make them look away. Because I used my bare finger to move those two mushrooms out of the way so I could flip. Not the smartest technique. Should have used another spatula. But anyway, I'm going to flip that over and continue cooking until they're done. And I determined that to be the case right here. And when that fish is done, go ahead and remove it right to a warm serving plate. And as I mentioned earlier, that second side, you're going to notice a little bit may very well stick to the bottom of the pan, especially if you're not using nonstick. But that's actually a good thing, as you're going to see, because the next step here is we're going to deglaze with some water. And that little bit of caramelization on the bottom of the pan is going to make sort of a little instant fish stock. So we're going to go ahead and splash in some water. We're going to turn the heat down to the lowest setting possible, and we'll give that a stir, scraping up any deliciousness that's on the bottom. And because that pan was so hot, a lot of that water is just going to instantly evaporate, which is fine. We only need to be left with a couple tablespoons. And that's obviously going to cool the pan down, which is good. Again, we're on the lowest heat setting you have. And at that point, we're going to introduce some acid in the form of fresh lemon juice. So I'm going to squeeze in some lemon, which is basically going to leave us with a couple tablespoons of hot, flavorful, acidic liquid which is exactly what you want to have happen if you're going to make a butter sauce. And to finish that sauce, all we need is a nice big pinch of freshly chopped Italian parsley and a chunk or knob of room temperature but not soft butter. All right, the butter needs to be solid. You're going to toss it in, and you're simply going to keep it moving, keep it stirring. If you want, you can use a whisk instead of a giant clunky wooden spoon. But anyway, the point is you got to keep it moving, keep it stirring. And because the heat's so low and that liquid is acidic, that butter is going to liquefy and emulsify into that sauce without breaking, without separating. And that's really all there is to it. So at that point, we're going to turn off the heat. We're obviously, obviously going to taste for salt and pepper. So taste and adjust. We all know you are the commish of your fish dish. And at that point, we're going to go ahead and spoon those mushrooms and amazing lemon butter sauce over our fish. As you can see, I served mine simply with some boiled potatoes that I carved with a turning knife. That's for you culinary students out there. Make sure you learn how to do that because you'll never use that cut ever in your career. Unless you get a show on YouTube. 
But anyway, we're gonna spoon over that sauce. We're gonna garnish with nothing because it's so beautiful already. And that pan-roasted halibut with clamshell mushrooms and lemon butter sauce is done. And when you consider there's only a few ingredients that required virtually zero prep, and considering the fact this entire thing can be put together in 15 or 20 minutes, I think the results are incredibly impressive. Just truly delicious. And there's something about halibut, which for a whitefish is fairly rich and meaty. And for that reason, it works extremely well with mushrooms. So just a great combination. And as you saw, incredibly easy to do. And you can see what we were talking about, about the flakiness. That is absolutely perfect. But anyway, like I said, if you're one of these people that claims not to be able to cook fish, I really think you should give this a try. Because if you try this and it doesn't come out well, you may be that one person out of 100 million that's just genetically predisposed to not be able to cook fish. But probably not. It's probably going to come out amazing. So I really hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.